Hey guys, it's Tim here from now what I'm calling uh, Rage Lag Gaming. Uh, the name was inspired by a friend of mine who plays a lot of online multiplayer in bad internet. Um, he does get a bit ragey and I thought, well, why not? I'll just call it that. I was completely out of ideas and I'm picking that and I'm sticking to it. Um, anyway, so today I'm going to do a um, pickups video sort for September. Um, I know it's a bit early, September's not over, but um, I'm not going to be buying any more games this month. I'm actually leaving to go down to the coast on Sunday for a week-long holiday. Um, I'll be taking uh, the Switch with me, but I won't be buying any more games. Um, I've spent the gaming budget already this month, um, so I'm going to do it now. Um, so the first games that I picked up this month um, was actually for the Xbox 360. Um, two games here, Modern Warfare 2, which I never played, Call of Duty, and the third one. Um, I haven't played this one still yet since I bought it, but I have played and beaten this one. Um, I've played pretty much all of the Call of Duties now except for um, Advanced Warfare. Um, this one, I wanted to play this one because I heard about the controversy um, with uh, the mission called No Russian. Um, and I wanted to experience it myself, so I did play that and... <laughs> It was interesting. It was interesting because I sort of thought that um, for you, for anyone who hasn't played it, you know, you go into an airport and I guess you're struck with a moral dilemma because um, you're going in there, there's a whole heap of innocent people and instead of, you know, generally in video games, people trying to shoot you to take you down, these people are screaming and running away. They're completely innocent and you've been put in a position where um You've got a gun and you're undercover uh, working with uh, the Russians. Um, and yeah, it was, it was interesting. Um, <laughs> I, I actually found myself not, not pulling the trigger and I just walked through the mission. It was, it was good the way they did it. They sort of didn't make you do it in a way when the police came out to try and shoot me. Then of course, gaming instincts come in. Like if you're getting shot at, you shoot back. Um, <laughs> But yeah, no, overall, the whole game, I thought was actually one of the better Call of Duties. Um, my next game that I got was Control. Um, I've already spoke about this in a video, but while it does have issues, frame rate issues, and um, the story, the story's good. It's, it's, it's a bit confusing though. It's not the easiest story to follow. Um, it sort of starts off with um, Jessie looking for her brother um, and it's sort of, there's many twists and turns in it. Um, I won't spoil it for anyone who, who wants to play it, but um, what makes this game for me is the combat, um, the ability upgrades, the weapon upgrades, um, just the gameplay is really, really good. I did finish this game. Um, what was the next one I bought? Oh, Astral Chain. I got the collector's edition of Astral Chain. Um, it was a game that I was super hyped about since I saw it in the Nintendo Direct. Um, I was waiting, it was probably my most hyped game for the year. Um, in this collector's edition, I'll do a quick unboxing. Um, it wasn't released in the US, I believe, but it was released Australia, Asia. I think it was released in Canada. I'm not sure. Maybe Europe. Um, I'll just get some of this stuff out. So, right here, I think there's 23,000 copies of this. That's the issue that I got. Um, there's a little placard basically thanking um, us for buying the game. Um, it also comes with a soundtrack, the game, and there is a really cool art book in here. I won't open it because it's full of spoilers for anyone who hasn't played it. I'll give it a little flick through maybe. Um, 
yeah, that's about all you can get. Um, so yeah, Astral Chain. As far as playing it, I, I did beat it. Um, I must admit, the first couple of hours were a bit of a learning curve, especially with the combat. Um, I wasn't sure after a couple of hours that I, I liked the game. But the story's really good. The game gets better. The combat gets much easier as you go and you learn it. Trying to control two things at once was a bit tricky to start with. Um, the only times I died in the game were actually right at the start because I just couldn't work the controls. Um, but definitely it's worth learning because it becomes really, really fun. Um, once you get the upgrades and the more, the better abilities, uh, the more legions you unlock. Um, it's, it's a fantastic game. I love the art style. Um, the graphics, like there's a few frame drops and things like that, but the art style is amazing. The story is solid. I highly recommend it. If I had to put a number on it, I'd maybe give it, I'd probably give it an eight out of 10. It's probably my second favorite game so far this year that's been released this year. Um, the next one I got, um, is actually today. Yeah, all, of my, all the rest of the purchases, are, purchases that I got was today. So Link's Awakening, got the limited edition, I haven't opened this yet. I know Ken from Ken's Game Collection is going to do an unboxing, so I'm not going to do that on this video. Um, it looks really cool. The box is a bit smaller than I thought, but um, yeah, I, I won't say too much about that. I haven't played it yet. I haven't played the original. Um, I'm going back to play, like I played Breath of the Wild. I'll do, I'll probably do a Zelda video, but um, I haven't played a lot of the older Zelda games. I played some, not all. So I'm looking forward to trying that one out. Um, and of course, I picked up the Amiibo. And for, I was talking to the uh, to the girl at EB, and she um, said that they were giving away these magnets um, for, it was basically first in, first serve. Um, they said they didn't know they were going to be getting them. Um, yeah, a nice little surprise, I guess. Um, but that came with the Amiibo, it didn't come with the um, limited edition game. Um, so that's only if you get the Amiibo, you might get one of those from EB Australia. Um, I also picked up the Amiibo for Ivysaur. Um, I am a bit of an old school Pokemon fan and uh, Bulbasaur was my first ever Pokemon on when I played Pokemon Blue on the Game Boy. So I thought I had to get that, put it in the collection. Um, I do open my Amiibos. Um, so I will open these and put them on the shelf. Uh, last but not least, while I was in there, I saw Ken and I think Canadian Gamer picked up Sunset Overdrive. Now, um, I don't know much about this game. Um, I know Ken spoke about it and rated it highly. I saw it in EB Games. Now this is a used copy. They didn't have a new copy, but it, I got it for $7 from EB Games in Australia. Um, Pre-owned it said 14 on the cover, but then it said 50% off marked price. So I got this for $7. So yeah, really keen to try this out. $7, you can't really go wrong. Um, so yeah, this is my, I guess, pickups for September. Um, I'll hopefully have some more videos coming your way. I'm going to start an Instagram as well um, for, I guess, Rage Lake Gaming. Uh, I'll start posting on that today for the first time. So if you're interested in following um, me on Instagram, then um, that's where you can do it. Thanks everyone for the support so far, enjoying it. Um, I've gone from not really sure if I want to do this at all to making three videos in three days. So yeah, no, I'm going to keep going with it. Um, I'm not sure how I'll go on holidays with it, but um, yeah, I think I'll use that time maybe to research a bit of this editing stuff and um, think of some more ideas so um, yeah if you like my stuff so far maybe subscribe um, and thanks for watching cheers guys